Hey guys, Jared, I'm joined with Matt here. We're at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Um, you know, great show. If you guys are here in the area, please come out and see us. We'll be here today, tomorrow. You know, what, what we'd like to do is just kind of walk you through our booth, show us some of, show you some of our different parts we have. Matt? Absolutely, let's, let's start over here. here. All right, perfect. So, you know, up at the front here, Matt, we've got uh, basically one of our rod mount fillet tables. It's got a, a little magma lever lock on the bottom of it. Yep. You know, that's unique that you can adjust the table to whatever size or angle rod holder you have. Yep, a lot of times you find these, they're just the table itself. We added the planar tray storage underneath it, which makes it really convenient to keep some of your terminal tackle right there. Yep. Uh, real quick and easy. One of the cool things we have right here is the deep drop weight insert. So it organizes all your deep drop weights in a five gallon bucket. It's super easy, just a piece of starboard drops right in and uh, keeps, yep. your, keeps your deep drop weights from destroying your boat. Which Good is thing about problem. that, guys, when you're making that run, right, you're done fishing for the day. You know, worst thing you can do is on an expensive boat, have those weights banging around. So it's a great way to keep those organized. Absolutely. Uh, awesome part. Yeah, so one of the other things we do at Boat Outfitters, we do some custom dash panels and such. And what you see here is, uh, you know, something we made is a display. The overlay panel drops right on. We stud mounted, it's half inch acrylic, and it really cleans it up, makes it look like a nice glass finish. And uh, yeah, it's one of the things that we do for you know, dash panels that have not been cut yet. So if you've got you know uncut fiberglass, really cool option to, to really clean up your console. Yeah, and, you know we've actually done a segment before, so look that up as well on dash panels. We've got a couple different options, kind of walks you through the whole process on how to get a dash panel made. Um, you know different styles, different pricing for different types of material. Um, you know, again, it's a really good option when you're looking to repower the boat or if you're looking to add new electronics to the boat. Really, that's the only way to do it without having to re-glass back in the entire console. Um, this is a cool part. It's actually picked up a lot of traction. If you've got a sea hunt, you absolutely have to get one of these. This is in underneath the T-top, that little electronic panel that has you know, your VHF radio on one side and then just a blank acrylic panel on the right-hand side. Yeah, we've, we've sized this appropriately for the different sizes of Sea Hunt models that with four screws, you're able to remove that old acrylic panel and now get some usable storage. You know, it's locking storage on the boat. You can throw, throw your wallet, your keys, first thing when you get in there, just gives you that extra option. Absolutely, it's a really cool, clean part, fits right up. So, you know, over here we've got a lot of our, our access doors, right? You know, we kind of made our name, cut our teeth on the, the build your own access doors here. Um, so we've got different sizes, styles. So Matt, walk me through kind of what we're looking here. You know, you got a, a poly poly door. Yeah, so starboard door with a starboard frame. This is really our bread and butter, what we do the most of. You know, stainless steel latch, all the latch options are there. You can get plastic, stainless, locking or non-locking. Uh, you can get it with seal pressed into the returns or without it, really nice option. Moving on here, we've got one of our uh, you know, aluminum frame access doors. You can see a teak version here and an acrylic version here. Uh, both, you know, stainless steel latches. They always come with seal. They're powder coated. We do it all in house so the frames are custom made. Uh, we weld all the seams so it looks really clean. You know, the next thing you got down here is one of our starboard deck hatches. It has a larger powder coated aluminum frame with a locking latch. You know, we use powder coated screws so it looks clean on the face. Um, you can also get these inside mounted so that you, like this, you don't see any of the, uh, the screws on the face of the frame. Really clean option if you, if you need something that you, you can stand on, maybe over a fish box, something you're really not super concerned about getting water in, um, you know, over a bilge maybe is a good option. And then this is just one of the new products we added. This is a starboard single panel removable door. So it just has a couple little hooks on the back. You can take it off, get it out of the way. So if you're climbing up under your console, you're not laying on it, breaking the hinges or anything like that. Really good option. You can still get it with seal. Helps minimize the rattle that you get from some of these doors. And that's actually a, a new part, Matt, right? So, Absolutely. You know, that's something we got a request for for a customer. We said, man, we've got to make this a build your own door. And when I say build your own, what we mean by that is you can literally go to our website and punch in the X and Y dim of the door and basically it will configure that door for you and spit out pricing. You know, time frame turnaround on that, with, once you, you put, make the purchase, within three to five days, we are shipping this poly poly door out to you. Sure. And at that point, it comes ready, pre-drilled, countersunk, to just place in, screw into the boat. A great way to, to patch up a hole or gain some, some immediate access to an area that was once hard to get to. Right, so, so like what Jared's saying, you know, three to five days on something like this, something over here with the aluminum frames, you're probably looking five to 10. Um, but really quick turnaround times on custom parts. Yeah, so you know, real quick, we're gonna go over this, guys. We did another segment on material, right? And you know, we offer all different types of material. We've got acrylic, we've got starboard, we've got expanded PVC. If you've got questions, what you should use, when, why, how, 
give us a call. We've got a team of people. You know, Matt. Matt's team's great. You know, they're they're honed in on the product. They're able to kind of talk you through what are you looking to do and ask those questions that you know really get you the best end product. Absolutely. So moving on, some of the different things that we've really added. You know, we've got some of our rod holders on display. Some of the little hooks that we actually created these for our gaff holders. You know, the gaff holder is really cool. The hooks right in place, but all you got to do is push it and it pops right out. So it's really quick, fast access that you get, you know, versus having to go and turn anything or unlock something, you know, putting it back in. You're usually not in a rush when you're storing it, but it's still pretty quick and easy to do. Um, really nice feature, but those hooks that we added on the website, man, those things are going like hotcakes. It's unreal how fast <laughs> those and that picked kind of, up. That speaks to a lot of these different parts you'll see in this area, right? I mean, it's all about organization. And again, when you're running the boat, you don't want things bouncing around or throwing in a drawer, right? right. So. You know, you've got a lot of different tool holders. This is one we did for a customer that mounted to the back of his leaning post. You've got some cup holders, different knife holders. Right, you know, these are pretty cool though. These are something new that we just developed. These are spring-loaded, uh, you know, folding rod holders. You just lift it up and it'll rotate out and lock right in place. So you can just pop your rod holders out, put in your rods, your gap, what, you know, anything that your, your boat pole, whatever you need to use at the moment, and then you can just lift it and turn it and store it when you're done. Super unique and actually uh, I talked to a customer yesterday and what he was looking for was something that you know down below deck in the cabin he could store some of his offshore rods when he was going fishing. You know generally something like this is going to be permanently affixed in an outward position where that again you can fold it flush when the rods aren't in and just you know not have something you potentially hit your head on when you're walking down below deck. Right right right. You know one of the things we went over real quick and I wanted to show you guys you know you, with the standard cup holder we find it more and more challenging for the different sized Yetis or Slim Cans. So we've, what we've done is we've made some different trim rings here. There's a smaller one that works for the, the, the two different size Yetis, uh, which again, you know, kind of that concept that it, it sits and it rattles around in the cup holder when you're running. You know, with this trim ring, you're able to pop that in and now that's not going anywhere. Similar, you know, we talked about White Claws being all the rage right now. White Claws, coffee cans. Energy drinks, energy drinks, water bottles. You know, they're all flopping around in these, these cup holders. Again, a trim ring for more of a thin can style. You drop that in, it's not going anywhere when you're running the boat. A lot tighter, a lot cleaner. And where, what this is sitting on is actually one of our build your own fillet tables or stock size fillet tables. Yeah, this is this is one of our stock size fillet tables. This is our 40 inch. Um, you know, this table is probably what 550 or so, 600 on the website. But you know, we've got the uh, we've got the upper shelf that just slides on the back here. Really cool option. Just expand some of the some of the uh, you know, storage that you have, or or you know, just add some places to set your your paper towels or your plastic Ziploc bags when you're cleaning your fish. Uh, just really convenient space yep and keep in mind guys that you know that this is a stock size but we can build you a fish cleaning table to your specifications you tell us how wide you want it how deep you want it we can take care of that project for absolutely you. So, so this is a really cool part Matt let's show them this yeah sure so this is actually a part that we design really for the pontoon market initially but it's gonna have a lot more uses than just that you know what you see here is a, an additional you know feature item for somebody who's going out to entertain, you know, your booze cruising, you got your, you want your cheese and crackers, your wine and such. So this, this is actually just a little piece that drops right over this folding table. I'm going to set this to the side. You can kind of gives see you like that. a serving tray or a butler's tray, right? I mean, absolutely. You can see that comes off. You can load all the stuff up at the house. Um, you know, really cool to be able to keep that clean and prep your food before you go down to the boat. Right. That's super cool. But this is really the coolest part of it. You know, this folding table, you only need about four inches of depth to use this. It's really shallow. We, the, you know, you can see this is mounted off of our wall and that's all the depth that you need. The folding aspect of this is really the coolest feature. So, you know, you just lift this up, the starboard legs, they just fold right in place, it drops down. The magnets keep it closed. It's, it's really clean, shallow, and uh, usable table space. Super my, easy to open up yeah, too, man. My show, favorite show part is it's, it's one hand deploy. You literally, you pick it up, pull it up and let it sit and, and it's locked in place very unique in the fact that everything's made out of starboard it's all right starboard. all starboard so nothing's going to corrode rod over the years you know you're you're able to lift it up pop it flat down in place where it's got a detent hinge um an awesome part absolutely <clears throat> really convenient usable so, space you know real quick while matt's putting that back we're going to talk a little bit about hardware guys you know you can see some of our our different hardware component pieces we use in a lot of our storage units you know we want to be that one place that you guys go to when a latch or a hinge is failing on you that you know we're the guys that have it right you've got thousands of different pieces of hardware on the site take a picture snap it send it to us we'll look it up 
If it's something we don't currently carry, we have relationships with those vendors. We can absolutely get that part for you. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. <clears throat> cool, so you know, over here, guys, we've got a couple of our different tool holders. These are unique in the fact that they're actually suction cups. So you're not screwing holes into your boat. You're able and, to relocate that tool holder. And everything you see up here, these are all suction cups, but everything you see up here, you can get with just screw mounting holes as well. Absolutely. So you can permanently mount it. These are uh, two parts here. You know, we, we offer custom net storage, which is really good if you wanted to add something. You know, if you've got a, a larger cruiser and you need to tuck some maps into something, that's available. Again, you can build it any, any length, any width, any height that you want. And then an open catch-all that is also a build your own. You know, you want to throw stuff, we're using it to throw all of our gum, <laughs> ibuprofen for being on Phones. our feet all week. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglasses. Cool. Everything. So let's, let's move over here, maybe talk about some of our different storage units that we have. Sure, yeah. So the glove boxes that you see right here, these are all build your own. These are built to whatever order, you know, whatever size you need. I think we've got a minimum height on them of six inches or so and nine inches wide, uh, just so that you can get a hinge that has enough mounting holes to fit. And also but, the latch, right? I mean, at that point, there, you could go right. smaller like the Sea Hunt box. You got to have a smaller, smaller latch. Smaller latch. And there's a lot more. Yeah, there's, there's some other things to consider there for sure. Uh, but this is, you know, super clean really nice and, and very easy to add as like an aftermarket item. If you pulled out like an old electronics that you, know, you had a separate GPS and a separate fish finder, and next thing you know, you're, you're putting everything into one unit, you've got this usable space, just throw a glove box in there and you got some really functional storage. Yeah, so talked to a customer yesterday, guys, he's got a folding cleat that, the, that it basically is broken. He doesn't have access to that area. So he's got to get up underneath that to change out that cleat. And basically the builder sent him over to us and said, hey, you guys got to go over CT Kyle Boat Outfitters. Um, you know, what he's suggesting is doing like a tilt out unit like this, where he can cut a hole in the gunnel of his boat. And then at that point, put in some usable storage that he can gain access back to, to change out that cleat. Right. Now, this guy was more of a cruiser, did not do a lot of fishing, right? Sure. So he saw this Plano's in here. He's like, yeah, that's just not for me. I right. said, well, what about a trash can, right? You see this slide out trash can here we can take this same trash can and configure it here to where now you've got a tilt out unit with a trash can in it. Again, there's never a, a place to throw your empties on the boat. You know, we, we feel like adding a trash can is something that's, that's great for every single boat. Everybody can use one and nobody has one. <laughs> Cool. So is there anything else, Matt, you guys want to talk about? Maybe Absolutely. come up and show them the cooler slides? Absolutely. So, you know, moving forward, one of the cool things that we added to the site, I think we've had these about a year now, these are the uh, rod holder outriggers. You know, somebody who's on a smaller boat or maybe doesn't have a second rigger, uh, you know, a second rigger clip or a short rigger clip, they can drop these right into the side of the boat, get their rods pointing off the side. Now that's, they, can, they can add lines to their spread, you know, instead of fishing five, four or five lines now, you can fish seven. I mean, it gets a little hectic, but it's really useful. Um, you know, what you see here, just is one of our standard tackle units on the website. This is actually the best selling tackle unit that we have on the website. It's pretty, it, it's pretty functional. I mean, five plano trays, two deep ones, three, three standard ones, two really usable drawers deep. I mean, you can fit a full spool line in there and you can use that for, you know, towel storage, bag storage, whatever it, you know, whatever your need is, it, generally they're going to fit pretty well. This is a best seller for us, guys. I mean, this, this box right here, you know, I can count, you know, numbers of people that came through here this, this, this short week so far and have said, man, I got to get that, right? You usually have a coffin box, fish box, a lot of different places that you, you can keep ice, keep things cold. You can bring an extra cooler on the boat, but they don't have storage. So they're able to remove that cooler from underneath the leaning post and add this usable storage. I think this retails for under $1,100. Again, yeah, we, we throw in the Plano trays for you when you buy it. It's a, <laughs> a really, really good option. Um, you know, I, what, like I said, one of our best sellers. For sure. You know, the last thing I really wanted to touch on was some of the cooler accessories that we have. And I know you were looking at the fillet table earlier, but you know, one of the coolest things that we have is this cutting board that mounts on the top of like your Yeti or angle coolers. I mean, you're spending so much money on a cooler, it just doesn't make sense to be cutting bait on it. Right. You, know, you don't want to be doing that. Right. The cool thing about it is you don't have to drill any holes in the cooler. These tabs just keep it right on there. You can open the lid, you can get it all your waters, your beers, whatever you need. And uh, it, it stays right there. And if you're if you're using it as a casting platform, the bow of a, a flats boat or something, you know you're not. If if you're wearing shoes at all, you're not tearing up the cooler. You can stand right on top of it. You can cut your fish on it. You can take it with you if if you're you know just booze cruising and use it as a serving tray. It works really well. Awesome. Um, you know the other cool things are like the rod holders that we have on the side that work with all of the items in conjunction. They they just slide right into the cutout. We actually have a slot in there so you can still strap the cooler down on the bow of the boat. It's not going to go anywhere for you, but 
And that's another segment, guys. We do a whole segment where we go into the details oh, of all Absolutely. of our different cooler options. Mm -hmm. And two weeks ago, we filmed a cooler slide option, which Matt will show you those. So, so you just know, slides real easy. If it's easy. underneath the leaning post, you can imagine trying to lift that lid to get a beer out or you know a water. At that point, you're not able to gain access, right? Mm -hmm. So now you can pull that out. It also doubles it as a seat, right? So now you've got an extra seat behind the leaning post where someone can sit down and Absolutely. ride comfortably, <laughs> not up in the bow of the boat. It's really convenient. The cooler slides are, are super popular. It's a showstopper. Everybody walks by and they're like, I need that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I feel like we kind of covered everything in the booth. Yeah. Yeah, covered um, the bases real well. You know, like I said, guys, we're here today. We're here tomorrow. You know, if you've called us and talked to us before, it's a great opportunity to put a name to a face, right? Yeah. So come on, check us out. We're right here. We're booth 513 in the equipment tent. It's a uh, 10 9 on the maps. If you're looking for us, you know, just track us down. Absolutely. And if you're not here and you watch the video and you've got some questions, give us a call. We love hearing from you. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Matt's got a whole crew of people over there that love talking about boats and making them sweet. So, you know, really, really appreciate you guys stopping by watching this video. Um, you know, we look forward to seeing you here if you're in the area. Other than that, thank you for stopping by and we'll, we'll talk to you soon.